I grew up, grew up in Tokyo, in Japan. I was born in Meguro, so it's quite near here. Mm -hmm. But um, then uh, till 23, mm -hmm. and then I spent most of my 20s and 30s in Paris. I listened to what my surroundings were listening to. So um, like classical music, pop music, rock music, anything. I began my musical study at the age of three and by playing the piano and solfege. And um, yeah, age of four, I started to write music, but um, it, it was just an improvisation and and to write them down um, afterwards. But it was not a um, spontaneous action, but only by um, instructions from music class teachers. I have been always writing music since I was four, but, and also I went to musical high school and music university and obtained a uh, master's degree in composition and then went to Paris, uh, Paris Conservatory for eight years. But um, when I was really conscious about becoming a professional composer, it was only at the age of 26 when I received the first uh, commission. And there, um, an act of composing has become a way to participate in the society for me, not, um, not a hobby, only for my personal pleasure. most directly from my childhood musical study. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was not only the piano private lesson, but also in, uh, as I said, eurythmics in a group. And so we were encouraged by teachers to, uh, to um, improvise, to arrange, to compose, mm -hmm. um, to expre express freely in music. And also at elementary school, my, my teacher, my very first teacher, she was a poet, and she believed that everyone has creativity, and uh, she proved it by making all her class students to write something every day, um, like poems, diaries, any, anything. So um, I have been always encouraged to, um, to develop my imagination and the capacity to, to, uh, to express. I think it was the recording of very early um, uh, quartet of Beethoven. Um, it was when I was 12 or 13 years old. Um, I was told by my composition teacher to listen to it and study it to learn some um, compositional technique. And that's probably why I wasn't really that much thrilled. <laughs> the clan. I think the idea of clan is uh, interesting in the string quartet. Uh, yes, I, I, I realized that all of my string quartets, so far only three, inclu including voice that I, I wrote for this project, it's just a short piece, but all of them are based on this idea of clan. Um, mm, yeah, you, you can look on bigger ensemble or orchestra as a family or a community as well. But the particularity of string quartet is, um, is differences in a similarity in a minimal structure. And also the form of four similar shaped string, uh, string instruments together visually reminds us of um, um, fundamentals of human society. When uh, the, re uh, the, the, the idea is really clear and the way it's transformed into music is convincing, uh, then I feel like the start of the composition is good. Um, basically, my pieces are, most of my pieces are based on um, extra musical ideas because um, I'm interested in understanding the world, how it's done, the function of the world, in my way. Um, so I analyzed the matters that interest me 
and I try to construct the music on its mechanism. And even though the, the ideas seem interesting, but mm, not everything uh, not everything uh, is, um, how to say, suitable or efficient and uh, translated in music. The idea coming for this piece um, is uh, is void, uh, birdoid. Uh, this is about uh, function of uh, movement of flocks of uh, birds or fishes. My uh, earlier uh, what, a string called it is called Brains, and I actually wrote this piece in the series, in the same series. So uh, in the in Brains, I, I used um, the function of Brains to uh, imitate the others. What others do, it's um, the basic of uh, compassion um, or sympathy. So that creates the human relationship, not only human but uh, animals relationship. Um, so voice is based on this idea of function of uh, frogs. This piece um, is uh, based on um, this function of um, a frog, of birds and fishes. And the movement, frog movement, is very beautiful and complicated. The principle is quite simple. There's only three rules. So one is um, try to be close to frog mates. Two, but when too close, uh, avoid a collision. And three, uh, steer, uh, steer towards the headings of um, neighbors. And um, in the frame of these room, rules, the individual individual behavior is free. Um, yes, and when a, a stone is thrown into the frog, that is, um, in my piece, the Piron, uh, cello's pizzicati, and it, when it's thrown it into the frog, frog is dispersed for a while, but it comes back again uh, quite soon because of rules, and. I think so. What I want to say is that coexistence of rules or discipline and freedom that makes everything lively. And in my piece, uh, the basic things are written in the score, but in frame of the score, or or rather beyond the score, um, I think the interpretations would change quite much the result of the sound finally, and. Um, so I would like uh, musicians to, um, um, to, to show their creativity and their imagination from the score um, because, um, because with that uh, the music can be alive and it's really the musician who gives a life to the music. Um, teaching and writing articles, especially for newspapers. Because um, as I teach here at General University, where students are neither composers nor musicians, also newspaper readers um, are not expert either. So uh, it's quite a creative work, I would say, to get people um, uh, but in, involved into the artistic interests. The musical compositions are not only created by composers. And Glenn Gould said, um, and playing music, playing or playing just by uh, recordings, playing music um, is also an act of recreation I really agree. So, um, mm, yes, my music is, this piece particularly, is very short, a very small piece, but they have um, lots of room for musicians to recreate. So, um, I really hope 
um, that you, the musicians, with their uh, to to create the music, uh, recreate the music with their um, uh, imaginations and the creativity and the technique. To say differently, uh, the power to see what you can't see, um, to listen to what you don't hear, and to feel something beyond the score, and to play it to be understood by the audience. That would make and the music very exciting, I believe. 曲というのは、えー、作曲家によってのみ作られるのではなくて、えー、グレン・グールドが言ったように、えー、演奏行為演奏とか聞くことというのも、えー、作品の再創造なんだと思いますで私の今回の作品というのはとても短いんですけれども、えー、たくさんの、えー、演奏家の方々の選択によってかなりこう結果というか聞いた感じに違いが出てくると思うんですね。で、えー、演奏家の皆さんには楽譜を超えて、えー、想像力あ想像力っていうのは日本語では漢字で書くと違うんですけども、えー、同じ発音なんですけどもイマジネーションの方の想像力とクリエイティビティの方の想像力と2つあって、えー、その2つを使ってつまり、えー違う言い方をすると、えー、見えないものを見たり聞こえないものを聞いたり聞き取ったりそれから、えー、楽譜に書かれていない楽譜の、えー、行間というのかな、えー、楽譜に書かれていないことを読み取ったり感じたりでそれを、えー、聞いてくださる方に伝わるように伝える、えー、そういう力を、えー、存分に発揮して、えーえーそうですね、えー、エキサイティングな音楽にしていただければと思います。はい。